so it's time for another to buy or not to buy video. You guys know the drill. These are just random reviews of random products. Okay, guys, first up, I need to make a really serious announcement. <laughs> okay, so I bought this really tiny baby mic. Like, look at the size of this. Like, okay, for scale, this is my hand. This is the mic. I was obsessed with this. So I saw this on uh, Natasha's Instagram. Natasha Patel had this on her Instagram. And she was doing some kind of a beauty video with this. And I thought, oh my God, forget the products. I need that mic in my life. I ordered this off Amazon. It's about uh, 500 rupees. I'm sure there are cheaper options also when you just type whatever mini mic or whatever. Also, I will link this below along with all the products. Um, and it comes like this and it has two like things on the end. So this you plug into your phone or your device or whatever. And this is for your headphones. So you can also listen to yourself. Now, um, there are a few like reasons why this would be really cool. I think it's really cute. I'm thinking of doing like a series on like reels with this mic, like something conversation. <laughs> I know everyone's not going to listen to me and only look at this mic, but I just thought it was so cute that I had to have it. It gets a lot of points for cuteness and fun and all that. Uh, but for sound quality, it's not like if you're looking for a mic mic, this is really not like the best, obviously. It is also fun for those people who use like those singing apps. Like if you're doing like, you know, karaoke and you're like singing and you're listening also with your headphones, I guess that's what it's kind of meant for to plug into your phone and use. Uh, I don't really sing because if I sing, you guys will never be watching that video. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a great purchase. I really, really like this. If you're looking for something that's fun, that's cute, that's like a gag and, you know, still has some use to buy. If you do not need any kind of a baby microphone in your life, please do not buy. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, I have a purpose for this with like the content I create and I thought it'd be fun to use in some content. But yeah, if you don't have any use for this, it's just really cute and you don't need it not to buy. Up next, we have an app, which is a service. It's called Drive You. Now, I'm really, really sad that I have to review this in this fashion because I had real great hopes for this app. Um, it is basically an app that gives you a driver for your own uh, car. So like, you know, like a driver, like the same way you have Uber functions, the same way where you see the map, uh, you see drivers around you and it gives you that option of, okay, yeah, I want to book for a certain number of hours or kind of like pay as you go. Um, and all different options and it's really like okay you have a driver in 20 minutes or 15 minutes or you can pre-book in advance i have tried all the different versions i have tried the live angle of your driver will arrive in 20 minutes um, i have tried the booking in advance like two hours in advance or three hours in advance four times or th at least three times my driver has been a no-show and they've cancelled on me last minute now I was mainly using this for like Mars's vet visits and stuff like that where I take my dad's car and I just order a driver and I thought it was great, you know, to get a driver and use it. And I thought this would solve all my driving issues. Uh, but sadly not, drives, Sherry Drive is going to have to come back and I'm going to have to drive the car myself. Um, I really, really wish they would get their like, you know, app in order and have enough drivers. So like it says your driver will be there in 40 minutes, but then like, after 40 minutes, you get a message saying, sorry, we couldn't find a driver and buy. Like, you're on your own now. And I mean, it's okay in like normal life, I guess. But when you're like, you're running to somewhere or you're booking this for an occasion or, um, you know, if you're to go somewhere and or you take your doctor, uh, take your doctor to the dog, I was going to say, but take your dog to the doctor or anyone else to the doctor. Um, in all those situations, it's really frustrating because then suddenly you've got to also think of an alternative like cab scenario and all of that. So, yeah, it's not like be all and end all and it's not like earth shattering but i've tried it many times i've been disappointed and ditched many times so unfortunately at this point i'm going to say not to buy but i really hope that they sort this out and get more drivers and this becomes a to buy because it's i when i heard about it and i saw it and i was like oh my god this is such a great idea for someone like me that doesn't drive yes i know i still don't drive and i will drive but at this point i thought it would be so convenient to kind of just you know ha like get a driver on the go 
pay for the amount of hours that you need a driver this is again for great for people that don't want like a permanent driver or someone like that's like your employee but sadly it did not work three times at least so at this point not to buy up next we have this viral sensation what is this guys so this is clinique's black honey almost lipstick and that's pretty much what it is so what is black honey by clinique and why is it viral okay i'm going to read from their site to explain to you guys because i think it's the best description okay so black honey is not quite a lipstick not quite a gloss its texture is more like a balm and you can easily layer it a transparent pigment merges with the unique natural tone of your lips to create something that's yours alone so basically this lipstick looks different on each and every person what it does is it takes your natural lip color and it's like this really dark berry tone if you see the actual lipstick but it's not like that it's very like translucent shiny balmy really really hydrating and you can see the difference when i applied it like i applied it on my lower lip first and then i didn't apply it on my upper lip uh you can kind of see that difference of so it gives you shine it gives you like a balmy moisturizing texture uh not like a gloss gloss type thick you know uh shine it's it is a like a more natural shine now price wise it's priced at 2500 which again is a little expensive in the lipstick range but then i think clinique lipsticks generally are kind of expensive but i do love their lipsticks and i love that the like usually they're very pigmented this is not very heavily pigmented you can layer it with anything i love how it feels on the lips like it has a very uh, like it kind of reminds me of my birds bees texture you know what i mean like a balm balm but it has the shine um and that feel of a lipstick and gloss which is quite interesting to me and of course you can keep layering it to get like a darker color and this will vary from person to person if you see on their site like many people have tried and you can see how the shade keeps changing now yeah there is a whole faddy element to it and like oh is it gimmicky is it faddy is it i feel like these things excite people obviously when you're like oh it looks different on everybody it excited me as well and that's why i was kind of keen to try it but overall the quality of the lipstick is fab great texture great look and feel all of that so i definitely will say to buy and this is one of those that you can layer your lipsticks with you know to kind of create new 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 shades like so many different shades and i think that would be interesting as well so i mean if you're looking to buy a high end lipstick uh, or a high end balm that you can use every day and play around with definitely to buy Up next we have like my favorite gadget gizmo in that space air tags okay so air tags i've been using them for a few years now i had totally forgotten about them because i wasn't really traveling in covid and stuff like that recently ordered another one which is when i thought of oh my god this would be great for it to buy or not to buy so for those of you that don't know what air tags are they are these little tiny devices basically like a gps tracker by apple um there are pros and cons to this a lot of people uh, are of the opinion that oh it's not great because you can hack people or track people and know where they are and a lot of people use it for shady things to track their partners and all of that which i don't think i would be doing uh but i basically use it for travel i really really like to use it um in my suitcases so i don't know if you guys remember but a few years ago i will link the vlog here i had lost my suitcase uh traveling to chandigarh for a work event for one day and for those 30 40 minutes where they when they didn't know where my suitcase was i was really like oh my god this is a real thing like lost luggage is a real thing um and it's not just something you see in the movies and after that i was like how do i not lose track of my bag again and uh, eventually these popped up and i was like oh my god this is great for travel they are faa approved now and i think most airlines allow them as far as i know only lufthansa apparently doesn't allow them why how i don't know uh do check your web, like airline website before you travel but most airlines allow them you just plop them into your suitcase and um like when you set them up on your phone of course this works with apple so you have to set it up with your iphone and then boom you can track your suitcase and it is the most exciting thing when i'm at the airport and sitting at the lounge i'm like oh where's my bag god <laughs> and it shows me the location and then i'm in even in the plane whenever i've had wifi i'm like very excited to see is my bag like flying me there with me and uh, then when you're at the like eventually when you reach that area 
this also great to prevent like theft and stuff like that so if someone steals your bag or walks off with your bag from a hotel for example uh, from hotel lobbies yes that happens a lot as well if you didn't know um if you have one of these in there you can find it um or otherwise if you put one in your purse i also do that when i travel so there's always one in my hand luggage and one in my main luggage it's a simple smooth opening thing uh you put in a battery um these are just those regular panasonic batteries you get online everywhere and uh, that's how it works so you can deactivate it when you don't want to be tracked so i feel like for people who are concerned about oh my god um i don't like to be tracked all the time or putting my stuff online and so on uh you can reach the destination and deactivate it like you know remove the battery and then put it back on when you're actually going back or whatever also a lot of people i know use this with in their kids bags uh when they want to be sure that their children are like okay or here they are or whatever um which again might not be a great idea at all times because then if someone is hacking or tracking they can track your kid and that might not be very safe so uh i wouldn't advise that But yeah, I mean if you read online people use these for all kinds of things to track their pets, to track I mean now all of the there's you know tons of like pros and cons about each thing. I basically use it for travel to track my luggage and it has really been helpful there and I think it's great for that. And a lot of people also I use them to put their keys on and stuff like that so you never lose things that was the the point behind these. So they you also get like attachments like this like this is the attachment I used to put it on to bags and things like that. Um you can also just plop them in you don't need really anything else or stick them on to things people put them in their laptop cases just like this you know wherever uh, you want to kind of put it in track something. They're not cheap a single one is about 3500 and you also get sets of four now the set of four is much cheaper and I would say that's the best thing because if you're usually traveling you probably have two suitcases two handbags uh as a couple and that will mean for air tags right so and even if you like one gets spoiled or whatever eventually you have spare one so i would always say get the set of four for travel and other stuff definitely for me this is a to buy for everybody because it's really really helped me and i think it will help you so guys those were all the things i'm reviewing in this to buy or not to buy video comment below with any other items that you want me to try and review i will try and get them and review them for you if you like the video give it a thumbs up and comment below with your favorite item from today's to buy or not to buy video see you guys bye